Hey everyone, I, me and little Charlotte are here to show you how to make potato salad. So we have a lot to do on our, on our agenda today as far as things to cook. So we have a couple of things. I, I've already made, this is, I'm making breakfast as we speak. This is chicharrones, um, or you might you know pork rinds. And that's just like with, show them down here, Bubby. Show them down here. So that has like tomatoes, diced tomatoes and some enchilada sauce. You can use your favorite hot sauce and I diced some onions as well. Mm. Oh, Charlotte, your hand's in the way, baby. Sorry. And then I'm also making potatoes and onions. It's kind of our favorite thing to eat. So I'm, we're gonna eat this in a taco. I'm also made some beans. Let me show you my beans. And Oh, Charlotte's little tooth is coming out. So I made these beans. Oh, three teeth are coming out. So we made some beans. Oh, I made some beans last night. Oh, it's wiggling. And it's wiggling. So I put these in the crock pot last night, made some beans. I also made some brisket. There's my brisket. I kind of started slicing it up because that's what we're having for lunch. And then now I am working on my potato salad. So I have the water on high. Get that boiling. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to it. Add some salt. Maybe I would say about a teaspoon of salt. And I would say probably about six cups of water. Um, I'm going to use about two, two to three large russet potatoes. And let me show you what I'm talking about when I say large. So these are the ginormous potatoes that I've seen. Maybe when I say large, maybe jumbo. I have about these big bags I buy from Sam's Club. I get the large russet potatoes. I'm going to peel these and cut, cut them up, dice them, and uh, put them in there once the water starts boiling. So... Let's get started with that. And I'm just making them cube. So just to your liking of your bite size, this is my bite size. So nothing crazy, nothing too small. I already have the water boiling with the salt in it. And I've already washed these potatoes. They do have some imperfections, but I'm not worried about that. I'm going to cut up one more potato. So I'm just cutting up my second one. Not a professional at cutting, doing my best. But I do large bites. You want to make sure they're equal, try to make them as equal as possible so that they cook equally in the water. If you have different sizes, like smaller potatoes versus large potatoes, they're going to cook at different variations. So you might have softer potatoes and firmer potatoes. So equal sizes as best as you possibly can. I know we're not perfect, but do the best. And then the next step is wait for the water to bo uh, boil. And I'll show you that next. So my water is starting to bubble, boil there, starting to boil and I'm going to start adding my potatoes now and so when you're adding if this is your first time just be careful when you add any items to boiling water if you've ever watched those videos but you just want to be careful adding your potatoes so I'm going to go ahead and do that now this is how I actually add my potatoes to 
to the boiling water. And the reason I say be careful is because water boiling, when something hits the surface of the water, it really splashes higher than usual. So just be careful, you don't wanna burn yourself. So now I'm gonna cook them. Typically the time frame till they are firm you want them al dente firm a little bit firm a little soft that in between you know the consistency that you would typically get in potato salad it's not soft completely it's a little soft slightly soft more firm than soft so typically the time frame or cook time frame is i want to say an average anywhere maybe 10 to 15 minutes you know your stove well if you and depending on the on the heat setting I have mine on a medium to high medium to high there so I'm gonna just keep watch I would say check at 10 minutes eight minutes you'll see where it's kind of it's starting it should start to see the difference 10 minutes it might be ready so just keep an eye on it after we get this cooked to the uh, consistency that we like, we're gonna drain the water and then we're gonna set this in the fridge. I'm gonna let these potatoes cool down before I actually make the potato salad. So I do want them cold before I start doing anything with it. So let's just get these cooked to the consistency and drain it. And I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is done. I need, even though I've removed it, I need to go ahead and put this in the strainer now because otherwise it's going to continue to cook. Okay, so I'm going to let these cool and in the fridge. I'm going to put these in the fridge. I don't let them cool down first before. I just put them in the fridge like this even <laughs> while they're steaming hot. Um, so I'm going to let it go in the fridge until it cools down and it's cold and then we'll start making the potato salad okay so i am working on my next steps i boiled a few eggs here you can use i would say about four about four or five boiled eggs i like a lot of boiled eggs you don't have to put as many eggs if you don't like eggs you could use none whatsoever. I like eggs in ours, and that's generally what you'll see in those Bill Miller potato salad as well. So I boiled my eggs already. I'm going to uh, peel these, cut them up, and put them in the salad. So let's get started. Okay, so here's my potato salad, I mean my potatoes that I had in the fridge. I'm going to be adding some salt. I'm going to add some dehydrated onion chives. If you have fresh onion um, chives, then you can always do that. This is just optional. I like to add a little bit of that. Also, dill weed. I like adding dill weed. I'm going to just do a tad. And really, I can omit salt because this is itself celery salt. But I'm going to add this in there just a little bit and some pepper i'm gonna add some pepper also i'm going to be use your favorite mayonnaise i have blue plate right here i'm gonna add some mayonnaise i'm gonna chop up my eggs i also have my relish i like dill relish i'm also going to add a little bit of mustard to this as well and just a smidge um what else was i going to say oh and pimentos i am going to add i have a little tiny jar of pimentos let me show you show that to you so these are just i have a very small amount it's a two ounce i used probably like half the jar the last time i made the potato salad so i'm just going to use the rest of this in my potato salad, but if you don't like pimentos, you can certainly leave that out. It gives it nice color, a little bit of flavor. Now let's get started. 
I have my salt here. I'm gonna go ahead and use my, I'm sorry, my pepper. Add my pepper. So I like to season my potatoes before I even add the mayonnaise. I feel like it gives more flavor. So I didn't really use much of this pepper. I probably put maybe a couple of te uh, teaspoons, maybe two teaspoons, I would say. Also, I have my celery salt here. That's a teaspoon. And I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add the onion chives in just a bit. I'm gonna add my dill weed. Love this stuff. Really gives that beautiful color. So I'm gonna start adding the mayonnaise to this. So I have my, this is about a cup of mayonnaise. You don't have to use as much mayonnaise, but I typically try to eye it. I Some people like their potato salad creamier. Some may like it a little bit drier. That is up to you. If you like it drier, don't use as much mayonnaise. And I may even have to add more mayonnaise in this. So I have pretty large potatoes. I only cut up two potatoes, two or even jumbo potato, russet potatoes. So this is about a cup, three fourths to a cup of mayonnaise. I'm using half a cup of regular dill relish, one ounce of the pimento, and I'm gonna mix this up. I'm trying to do this one handed, sorry, everyone. I don't know where I put my little. And then I'm gonna add the mustard here just a bit but I want to see where I'm at if you don't like as much relish just put a little bit if you like your sweet some people from the south prefer their potato salad sweet I don't like sweet potato salad but that's my preference um growing up my mom always liked sweet pickles and I am a person who likes sour pickles or dill pickles either one's completely fine preferably dill so use your preference but here you know when you whenever you go to Bill Miller's they use dill a dill relish so this is a little bit more and for you depending on who you are this may even be a little bit too dry. You might even like a little bit more, more smoother than that. But I haven't added the eggs yet, so I'm going to add the eggs here in a moment. I'm going to just give it a taste. I'm definitely going to have to add. I'm adding a little bit more celery salt. I'm going to go ahead and add my onion chives. That's starting to come together. So I'm gonna get my mustard and cut up my eggs. And I'm gonna put about four eggs in here to start off with and see how it looks. Okay, so I have added my four large boiled eggs in here. I'm just gonna mix this up. And as I'm adding this, I can kind of see it's too dry for my liking. I'm gonna add some more seasoning to it. This is too dry for me. So I'm gonna add probably another half a cup of mayonnaise. Add a little as I go. And then I still need to add my mustard. I'm just probably gonna do a couple of tablespoons of mustard. I'm gonna start off with one, taste it, and then 
go from there. So give me just a moment while I get this all mixed up. Looks too dry. So I'm going to add some mayonnaise and mustard and a little bit more seasoning. Okay, so we are done. I did add another half a cup of mayonnaise. It was pretty much what was left in my container. So I did go ahead and add that. I also added about a tablespoon. I just used the classic French yellow mustard and I tasted it. Right now, I feel like it is content with the seasoning. I think it's gonna be based on the discretion of the person who is eating. If they wanna add more salt, I'm going to try to omit, I mean, not add too much salt because we're going to be having a lot of sodium in the other foods that we're eating. We're having some, I made some chicken, some chicken quarters, and then I also made some brisket. We're having beans. I'm also um, going to, we're having the potato salad with it. I feel like this is enough for tonight. I don't need to make any more. I love to cook, but I feel like the cleaning process is probably one of the most difficult because I can make such a mess and, but that's, that's just life, right? So <laughs> I will need to clean up. Uh, thank goodness I have kids and a family and a husband who, who doesn't mind helping me um, with it. So anyways, I hope that you guys enjoy this. Um, it is very yummy. It's going to last in your refrigerator for about, depending on what you put it in as far as container, you know how that goes. It can last, I'm going to say about up to four days, maybe, where it still, it still tastes good. If you're putting it in a nice container, it might even last longer in a mason jar. So I hope you enjoy. Please let me know. I even like to put a little bit of cayenne on mine. I like a little bit of the spice to my potato salad, but. So I wanted to show you before I actually ended this video, I like putting this stuff on top. This is for me, not for the kids, <laughs> as you can tell. A little bit goes a long ways. I like spice in mine. Tastes like Bill Miller's. Mm hmm. What does your taste like, Mom? Potato salad, Bob. Mm -hmm. Please share my copycat recipe for Bill Miller's. Um, I think this is pretty close on, but you might have a better variation of how you think you would make it. But I hope you enjoy this. Please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, you can't make memories without your girl G. And she is signing out. And again, please remember to please take care of yourself and each other. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.